You often hear people say the American society is deteriorating. No, the American society has already deteriorated. People will attempt to blame this on mental health. He's crazy. Everything except what it actually is. Evil. He's a evil SOB. Unfortunately, we see this too often. No one is surprised. But because we have in-depth footage of this evil SOB, I'm not going to say that he's mentally unstable. That's the easy way out. Everyone isn't mentally unstable who behaves like this. Many of them are, in fact, evil. Disgusting. Their life is jacked up, so they want everyone else's life to be jacked up. Misery loves company. He's miserable. On top of other things that's going wrong in his life. Now, I don't understand why the workers in the store did not stop him because they have to pick the goods slash items back up and restock them. Fruits, vegetables that he palmed and thrown to the ground, that's trash now. You can't put that back on the shelves. So now he has created a loss in money, revenue. Not only that, you have children in the store. Not only that, majority Hispanic workers. We have a evil SOB of color going into 
a store that is majority Hispanic. And you wonder why other groups of people look at black people the way they do. A lot of this is going on. A lot of this. This is not an isolated incident. This goes on a lot. Very few content creators will talk about it because it won't get you views. There is a mental health problem out here. There is. But there's also a demonic problem out here. You can't classify everything is mentally unstable. He or she needs counseling. Some of these people are done. Flat out done. You have too many 40 plus year old men in the streets behaving just like this SOB. Just like him. Go to any big city across America. You will see a lot of this. This age group and older. I don't know if it was the 80s crack era, but the older generation isn't in good shape. You can see that now. This pandemic has exposed a lot. You can see this now. Because pre-pandemic, many of these people were housed or they were in psych wards or even jail. During the pandemic, resources took a hit and a lot of these places shut down. So you see a lot of this type of activity more than you did pre pandemic there's always been crazies there's always been demonic evil people there will always will be but you're starting to see more and more of this type of behavior every day just look at world star hip-hop and it's coming from the older generation i mean the evil SOB ransacked a grocery store. Drinking up smoothies, throwing food in his mouth, throwing food on the ground, destroying everything in his path. No one touched him. Why? No one stopped him. Why? No one attempted to get in front of him. Why? Why was he allowed to ransack the entire store? The entire store was at his mercy. This also showcases that society will stand back and let things like this happen. People do not want to get involved. They don't have the time. They don't have the money. They don't have the intellect to actually stop a conflict. So people don't even get involved. So therefore, SOBs like this can go inside a grocery store where people are already overworked. Employees are already overworked. Now they have to pick up damaged goods and items and trash it on top of restock what was destroyed and restock new items coming in all day, every day. Someone should have stopped. Him, But that goes to show you society is scared. Many, many people out here don't want anything to do with any drama. Understandable. But SOBs like this have to be stopped. 
This is another reason why people should have protection because you can't expect anyone to help you if you're being attacked, if you're being robbed, whatever the case may be. You can't expect the police to come. You can't expect people to help you. This video clip we all witnessed is another Amazon Prime example. This can't happen. This has to stop. This can't continue to happen. He's in every aisle, shirt off, milk poured all over his head, pants sagging, destroying everything in his path. Again, this is unacceptable. Everyone is standing around. We already have a problem with the food chain. If you ask me, somebody should have put their foot up his rear end. This doesn't make any sense. Somebody should have maced him, maced his eyeballs out. The entire globe is scratching their heads, asking themselves, what is going on in America? Society has deteriorated. The American brain is fried. It's fried. It's fried. The American brain is fried. A lot of Americans are done. Doesn't matter the color. I think people don't want to accept that because they believe everyone can be saved. That's not true. Everyone cannot be saved. You think otherwise? Use this video clip as a case in point. Do you actually truly believe that this evil SOB can be turned around? He can repent. He can go from being a savage to attending church. I'm sure you have a lot of Christians who believe that and anything is possible, but he's done. I'm sure there's people who will say that he's on some type of drug. It doesn't matter. We have to stop making excuses for people like this. We have to hold people like this accountable, just like we hold everyone else accountable for what they do. No one should be exempt except children. People are going to have to pull their own weight. I understand that there's going to be. Well, there's always going to be people like this. I understand that. But this is in large, very large numbers. Alarming. Even the international news is talking about the American society, inflation, the crime, deterioration of the everyday American. The world is talking about it. Not too many Americans are talking about it. Now, Americans are talking about how dangerous it is, but they're not going into depth. And not only that, look how many Americans are still getting got, taken advantage of in this era, in this dangerous era. So there's a lot of Americans who don't have a clue, even in this day and time, just don't have a clue. And that's the type of people they are. Whatever happens to them just happens to them. You can't tell them anything. It's too late in the game for you to be defenseless. It's too late in the game. So you either got it or you don't. You either know it or you don't. So when you're out, you have to anticipate evil SOBs like this.
You have to anticipate it. Okay, I know wherever I go today, there's going to be someone out there or people out there that should not be out there. You have to think like that every day. That's how you keep yourself aware and you bring the proper tools. Because I don't know if he attacked anyone. I don't have the full story on him, but I wouldn't be surprised if he attacked someone in the parking lot or even attacked someone in the store. So what's the solution? Because people will say, well, what's the solution? What's the solution? What is the solution? What's making these people behave like this? Is it the food? Is it the pandemic? Is it the flu shot? Is it television? Is it liberal arts? Is it family? Is it a demonic spirit? Is it a disease? What is it? What is it? I know everyone's situation is different, but if you don't know what it is, if you don't know the root cause, how will there be any solutions? How can there be any solutions? But people going into stores, destroying property has to stop. The workers have to do double the work and when customers like me and you go inside the store, we can't get what we want because it has been destroyed. This is why entrepreneurs, owners, CEOs rather ship out their goods instead of have a physical store people walk into because people destroy. People will walk into your business, your store and destroy it. Dare you to stop them double dare you to do it. If that was my store and he was doing that inside of my store, I would have went oops upside his head. He would not have gotten that far. I would have left my office, ran to the floor and went upside his goddamn head with the quickness. That's my solution. That's the only solution. You can't talk to him. You can't reason with him. He doesn't care. People like him mess it up for everyone else. This is why stores are closing early. Stores before the pandemic, pre-pandemic, they would stay open to 12, 2 a.m., not anymore, 7 p.m., closing, 8 p.m., closing, nothing past 8.30, 9 o'clock. They're messing it up for customers like you and I. And not only that, look at his skin color. Everywhere those people go, it's trouble. It's chaos. And this showcases why people and black people don't want to be around black people. Because crap like this is happening way, way too often. Every day, all day. It's the norm. This is the norm here in America. This is the norm. People are used to it now. No one is shocked anymore. No one is shocked. So that will do it for this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.